religion or race. Uh, you can't just label all Muslims or all Pakistanis as, as grooming groomers when you're telling me it's yourself it's less than 3% of Muslims. Yeah, way less than 3%. Are there other Muslims in these large talents are perpetrators of violent sexual attacks and grooming and, and child molestation. How many? What, how, what total figure? So between how many, the, how many have been convicted? Year, but, okay, so it depends what year you look at this because all new data on new convictions come in every year. Okay, so how many uh, last year? It's going to be, uh, it was 86 last 86. year. 86? More people died on the roads than that. 86%. You should be out there 80, protesting no, 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 roads. Because cars can cars kill more 86 people. 86% to date are Pakistani and or Muslim and and they are, and they are yeah, when you ignore all the men. other uh, right? sex and crimes, they, and they when you ignore all the other sex crimes, yeah. there are a few, there well, are when you ignore all the sex crimes by white people, there are a few English names, there are a few Sikh names every now and then. Here's the thing, we're going to we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to stop this conversation, because you're still repeating the 84%, which I told you is now 86 as of this month. It is, absolutely. You are refusing to, you are refusing to acknowledge that it's being debunked <laughs> by themselves because they changed the study, they changed the wording of the study to, to comprehensive, to not comprehensive. But no, but you haven't read the stuff that I've told you about last time. Please do, before you keep repeating the 84%, please do, because otherwise you're talking from it. It's, un it's not known. Everyone but it's definitely, definitely not 84%. The Pakistani grooming gangs are way out of proportion as regards every other Well, because they're basing it on a study that has been changed after it's been released. And everyone seems thousands to be of incidents. incidents. Thousands of incidents. Hold on, listen, listen. So it's always thousands. No, when you read it in the papers, it's thousands of incidents. We, no, it's not been. It's not been calculated. It's not been calculated in that way. And you're trying to. You're trying to claim that it has. So you're coming out here with false stats, which is just pointless. So we may as well stop the conversation because every time you say a number. All I'm doing is having to debunk that number. There's literally no point in that, having that conversation until you inform yourself about the people who have debunked the studies that you are quoting. The study that you, you've now read, right? What does Emma Cockburn say about that, that Pakistani, Pakistani grooming ban number of convictions through the last? What she says is, is not. It's the most. What she says about the study is it's the least scientific study that she's ever seen. Okay. Because you cannot search, like we've said before, grooming when you type when you when it's a brown person, when it's a brown group doing this, it's known as a grooming gang. When it's a white group doing it, it's known as a paedophile ring. So, so there are there are there are white grooming gangs that uh, are plying their victims with drugs, and it happens in majority white communities. So places like Corby, places like Corby, places like Corby, where there are, where there are only white people who have hardly any immigrants, it is it, it's seen as a paedophile ring, even though it's exactly the same as a grooming gang. So when when the when William does their study and they they just do it not they, they, they I, wouldn't, I wouldn't I wouldn't quite say that. I wouldn't quite say that. Uh, when, so when William are doing a study and they're basing it on let's just search the newspapers for when they uh, categorised a grooming gang as a grooming gang instead of a paedophile gang it obviously ignores all those white drug gangs who are doing the same shit to, to girls because, so it's the least scientific study that she has ever come across and you're quoting it you're quoting, it, you're quoting the, the stats from the least scientific study that this this person who, who yeah, please do, please do, and then we'll have that conversation. But for now, for now, we're just going around in circles, and you keep repeating numbers that you haven't. Do you, do you understand the difference between a, a, a pedophile ring? Did you hear what I just? Did you listen to what I? Did you listen to what I just said? What is the What is the difference between a white drug gang who groom? 
young girls and ply them with drugs, what's the difference between them and a brown drug gang who uh, get their get the girls addicted to drugs? It's academic. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah? Yeah. So one's called a grooming gang because they're brown. The other one's called a pedophile ring because they're white. Yeah. 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 No, so how can you get how can you get a good study from that so when you're reading the newspapers that clarify it? these different crimes because they, they operate differently. The criminals operate in a different way. Okay, the, if you take a, I don't know, you could look at say fraud and uh, different types of organised crime that carry different types of categories. They might be so very What's the similar. difference between that you know, ring that I just described and the grooming gang that you're you describing? So as far as I know, uh, grooming gangs are not, well, they're not as organised as, as, as an organised. They traffic. They traffic women from town to town. That sounds quite organised. Thousands of women are victims. It's Sounds like they're organised. You, can you can't do that without being organised. There's, there's like 20 people in one gang. That sounds organised. It's not why they make this discrepancy because it is an important enough discrepancy for them to make a difference here in the classifications. Because they the newspaper. Okay, who made this? Who made this difference in clarifications? No, it's the newspapers. Maybe I thought it was. But went and searched through uh, newspapers. The majority, like, they got the majority of their data from newspapers. Well, it wasn't the police that cla this classified these as grooming gangs. Yeah, please do, because everything you're saying, you don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. And if I'm wrong, I will bow and, and, and acknowledge my wrong But I think uh, I'm pretty sure I read correctly. And, and that, that the, the police themselves view these things differently and, and have different task squads to go after these different criminals because they're sufficiently different to warrant. I mean, you know, these behaviours are sufficiently different to, to warrant these police having to, to check different avenues and, and do different types of criminal investigation and blah blah blah. Right? Yeah, you're wrong. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. But you understand what I'm saying. Even that last sentence, right? Yeah, but you just talk past what I just said, so it's just irrelevant. It's still a very large You just agreed that a white drug gang who grooms girls is called a pedophile ring without giving me a difference to how they operate between the brown gang. But, but there, there are different ways that these, you know, there's grooming gangs and there's all the organised pedophile rings. They all operate up in the, Yeah, uh, and how are they different? How are they, how are they different? You said that they're classified as different, but I'm telling you they're the same. They're organised, they're organised. The only difference is one's brown and the other one's predominantly white. They operate with, with more savvy pedophile rings and stuff. Maybe they have different clientele. Maybe they like. Maybe they um, they farm these girls out, and and, and you know you have organised. Maybe, 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 that, maybe. What is um, the, what's the uh, significant? Um, I'll, I'll the, check and the actual question. definition of the name. So it sounds well, this like is the based, last debate this was between whether it's called grooming gangs or whether it's called. Peter this Barring. is based on so the Cullium report is based on primarily news reports where right. news have clarified the brown gangs as grooming gangs, right. but if it's a white gang they'll clarify it as Peter Barring. So when you're searching grooming gangs through the newspapers, you're not going to see all these white gangs. Right. Which is where this in, overinflated 84% comes from, which is why we can't get. Uh, a proper figure because you then have to search for pedophile ring and grooming gangs and then there would be some sort of crossover between because there's white people who go into social services and and do a pedophile ring on much younger kids but that would never be seen as a grooming gang right. because they're not grooming these kids yeah. they're just taking them right but then there's pedophile rings that do do it in the same way as the Muslim uh, grooming gangs, but they're classed right. as pedophile rings because of the skin colour, not because of the way that they operate, which is what you see. That's, that's the definition, but is, is the definition of grooming gang that has to be, or is that something, are you saying the press have it that way? Yeah, but I think a grooming gang would be like older young kids yeah. who are 
been groomed into thinking that like they have a boyfriend yeah, yeah, when yeah. really they're being taken advantage of and it's usually vulnerable kids who haven't got that love at home so they're on the streets and they're, they're these people are taking advantage of that fact but then but you agree that the scandal because as far as i understand the scandal of the grooming gang whatever you define it as was significant uh, it started off with Rotherham, didn't it? And it was significant because the police didn't do stuff about it because they were afraid of being labelled racist. Yeah, just in the, yeah. just in the, but that that's probably something that one person that has been it. Like, there's probably hundreds of thou or thou hundreds or thousands of people involved. One person in the authority said it's because of race. Uh, someone else might have said it's because of like money, like lack of resources. But like the, the the point remains, it's not just brown people that have got away with these crimes. It's Jimmy Savile, it's the established Jeffrey Epstein, there's their football coaching. Like it's not. There's no kind of like basis to race to 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 kind of give like if you look at every other example of child sexual exploitation the same problems arise yeah, yeah, yeah. no i agree i can't disagree with that yeah.